as, as as a free speech advocate, I am I am completely up for you know pushing the boundaries and expanding horizons and you know really really exploring what it means to be creative and creating new types of content. But what the hell is this? <laughs> the the man with the magic penis, Denmark's national broadcaster launches a children's cartoon about a man with the world's longest manhood who uses it to steal ice cream, fly like a helicopter, and light a barbecue. Oh my god. Uh, right, and, uh, the, yeah, the, the, reason, the reason I know about this is because everyone was tagging me in it. Thanks. Uh, John Dillermand literally translates to John Penis Man. <laughs> in, in Danish slang animation the animation made its debut on children's channel DR Ramisjang on January the 2nd it sparked debate over what's appropriate for kids aged 4 to 8 the target audience now, now I will say that I, I don't believe that that is an appropriate thing to show children from the ages of 4 to 8 I I certainly would not let my children watch anything like this. Not at all. A bizarre new children's cartoon has launched in Denmark, which tells the story of a chap with the world's largest penis. Ah, uh, well, the what is it? The the alleged world record is uh, owned but owned by a man called uh, Jonah Falcon, but he is a confirmed liar. Don't don't at me. Also, don't ask me how I know. Uh, John Dillermand, which literally translates to penis man. <laughs> why, why, why am I laughing like a tri- like a child in biology class? You know, like whenever the teacher says penis, <clears throat> uh, you know, Jesus follows the adventures of its eponymous character who performs impressive feats with his member. I've never understood member. Why I don't understand why that's a slang term for penis. I've never, un- never, ever understood that. Uh, from rescue missions. <laughs> from, from rescue missions and taming, taming lions. I think that's supposed to be taming lions. To flying like a helicopter, lighting barbecues, and stealing ice cream from unsuspecting kids. Ah, uh, uh, there is indeed. Almost nothing he can't do with it, as is explained in the show's theme song. Oh, why is this so funny? It's it's so inappropriate and children should not be watching this, but it's so funny. At one at one point, in a scene reminiscent of the film Up, he finds himself floating in the air over the town thanks to a set of colourful balloons tied to his tackle. The animation made its debut on the children's channel DR Ramisjang on January the 2nd, but perhaps unsurprisingly received mixed reviews from viewers. Oh, sweet man, is he actually, he's actually Lasso and a lion? Ah, oh, why is that so funny? Uh, first... <laughs> First of the 13 episodes has been watched more than 140,000 times and it sparked debate over what is appropriate for children aged 4 to 8, the show's target audience. Danish public, ma, this page is... What has happened here? Hold on, the, pa- the pages went all screwed up. Ah, there we go. Danish public broadcaster DR, the country's equivalent of the BBC, defended its cartoon, well... If it's the country's equivalent of the BBC, that may be why. Uh, defended its cartoon, writing on Facebook on Tuesday, we think it's important to be able to tell stories about bodies. No no one's penis is that big. No one's penis is able to do things like that. Stop stop making jokes. Right. The 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 big PP meme is has got a little crazy recently. In the series, we recognise a young children's growing curiosity about their bodies and genitals 
as well as embarrassment and pleasure in the body, then then at least make it realistic. <laughs> so, I can't wait till I hit puberty so I can steal ice cream with my penis. <laughs> However, some opponents claim the idea of a man who is unable to control his penis months after TV presenter Sophie Lind- Lindy kickstarted Denmark's Me Too movement is all judged. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Uh, Danish author Anne Mies Malstrand J- Jurgensen. Uh, commented, is this really the message we want to send to children while we're in the middle of a huge Me Too wave? Count Dankula used his penis to steal my ice cream. He also... (laughs) (laughs) The fucking... The fucking picture! Oh! Christian Gross, an associated professor and gender researcher at uh, Roskilde University, agreed gender researcher, uh, claiming the show's celebration of the power of male genitalia could only set equality back. Oh, shut up. Christian Gross, shut up. Uh, it's perpetuating the standard of a patriarchal society and normalising locker room culture. That's been used to excuse a lot of bad behaviour from men. Okay, none of, none of this is real. No man is out there using his penis to steal ice cream, fly a helicopter or light a barbecue. Cause that's dangerous, right? No, nobody. No, oh my god, they they will find. Honestly, like put a plate of fucking green beans in front of these people, and they will find a way to say that it somehow reinforces the patriarchy. Like this, that this isn't. This is this isn't. This is just retarded. That's what it is. It's a retarded, stupid show about a man with a <laughs> big penis that just. Like, can fly helicopters and stuff. It's just stupid. It's just a fever dream. That's all this is. It's just absolute nonsense. It's meant to be funny, so it's seen as harmless, but it's not. And we're teaching this to our kids. MP Morton Mesh- Messerschmitt, was that not a type of... That was not a type of fighter in the World War Two. A member of the Danish People's Party raged, I don't think looking at adult men's genitalia should be turned into something normal for children. Is this what you call public service? Is he... Is he pulling a bus? <laughs> okay. Yes, he's he's uh, pulling a bus. Okay, then. Uh, the series is made for a target audience consisting of children aged 4 to 8, and it must be at their level. The series is not about sexualizing the body. Okay. Uh, education expert. So, if it, like, I mean... A bit, a, 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 having a big penis on the screen is, is in a way, you know, quite, quite sexual. It is. Even, even the idea, some people even think the idea of a man just simply, you don't see it, but even just knowing he has one is uh, sexual. Uh, it's, it's nice uh, at three in the morning getting the hey you up texts. Uh, education expert Sophie, Sophie Munster told the AFP, it's a very Danish show. Well, what kind of country's Denmark then? <laughs> Jeez, it's not it's not inappropriate. It's just Danish. Jesus, then what the hell's going on in Denmark? We have a tradition to push the limits and use humour, and we think it's totally normal. I understand. I completely get that. I agree, I agree with that statement. The debate is from an adult perspective, in which the long penis is sexualised. Children have a different perspective. I'd agree with that. Children don't have like sexual thoughts or anything like that at all so looking at it they might just think it's stupid and silly so ah okay i I still think it's madly inappropriate uh the size of the penis is exaggerated so much children realize it's a joke and uh erla hennison hodgstead a clinical psychologist who works with families and children say parents may be overreacting john dillerman talks to children and shares their way of thinking and kids do find genitals funny like I said earlier, whenever your biology teacher says penis, <clears throat> yeah, that stuff. Uh, the show depicts a man who is impulsive and not always in control and makes mistakes like kids do, but crucially, crucially, Dillermond always makes it right. He takes responsibility for his actions. When a woman in the show tells him that he should keep his penis in his pants, for instance, he listens, which is nice. He is accountable. 
DR does have a reputation for pushing boundaries, particularly for children. Its show Uncle Reggie uh, features a character who swears, smokes a pipe, and refuses to take baths. That, I will. That that's that's nowhere near as bad. <laughs> But like that, that, this is the thing is like if people want to make a show like this, absolutely go nuts. You make a show like this, uh, show, showing it to kids though. Hmm. Mm. No, 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 not not for me. I I definitely wouldn't let my kid watch it. But I mean, I will I will give them a credit where it's due. It's funny, even just the concept <laughs> is funny. I was laughing all the way through this, but. Uh, Maybe, 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 like, don't, don't show it to kids. 